Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you where you can get paid to try out different apps on your smartphone for free, of course. So first we have a company called Playtest Cloud. This is a great place where you can try out different mobile game apps on your phone. All you have to do is go to playtestcloud.com. You can go to become a playtester. And once you go here, you can just go to um, the steps that they have filled out for you. You submit the sign up form. If you're eligible, they'll send you a qualification test. You complete that test. You're not usually going to be paid for the qualification test. It just basically qualifies you for future paid tests after that. So to become a tester, you do that, you pass the test, and basically you will start helping game developers learn more about what players think about their games and if there are any issues that need to be addressed. And again, these are usually like mobile games. So keep in mind that as a play tester, it's not supposed to be a full-time job, but you can get paid around $9 for every 15-minute play test. So if you were to factor that in to a full hour, that would be about $36 per hour. Obviously, it doesn't mean you're always going to make $36 per hour because that would mean that you would have to have basically four play tests in a row lined up. So you don't know how many play tests you're going to get at a given time, but in theory, you could make up to $36 per hour for your time with something like this, but it's not going to be very consistent. So it's not something you want to rely on too much. It's mostly, it's also mostly for English speakers. You can actually let your kids do it as well, but obviously that's going to require parent or legal guardian's permission. Now, as far as how they are rated, they actually have a fairly good score. They have a 3.2 out of five star rating, which is fairly normal for most companies. Next we have Trimata. Trimata is a place where you can get paid to test websites and apps. They actually have a mobile version of this where you can test apps. Trimata testing has a 4.3 out of five star rating with 10,000 plus downloads. So they're very well rated so far and they have these on Apple and Android, I believe. And with these, basically you're going to take these tests. Some of them might take, you know, 20 to 30 minutes. So usually they pay around $5 to $30 per 20-minute test. Um, again, some of these can be as much as like 30 minutes or more. But for the most part, most of these types of tests are 20 minutes long. They pay up to $30. You get paid via PayPal. And apparently you can get paid as soon as daily also. So if you go to get paid to test, um, they'll have a lot of this information on here, $5 to $30 per test and all of that. And you get paid via PayPal. And basically, they send payments out every weekday morning through PayPal right here. That's what they tell you right up front here. So another one is called clickworker.com. This is also a place that has an app as well, which is a very highly rated app at 4.3 out of 5 stars with millions of downloads. Clickworker allows you to basically uh, do all sorts of different types of things. You can try out apps, test websites. You can do a lot of AI training type of jobs. They have a very good trust pilot score, 4.3 out of 5. They have uh, payments at least weekly via PayPal and Payoneer. And also, if you look at the devices you can do work on, you can do this on a notebook, desktop, or smartphone. And again, the app is very highly rated at 4.3 out of 5 stars with millions of downloads. So some of the jobs you might find here are surveys, text creation, text creation research, mystery shopping, app testing, as you see right here. So this is one of the main ones you can find here, again, if you're interested in trying out different apps. You also have all sorts of things like recording audio, video, capturing photos, and more. So they have all sorts of different types of what you would call hits or basically micro task jobs that you can do on here, which are basically a bunch of like one-off jobs that you can do. Now, as far as how much you can earn with ClickWorker, if you go to their salaries here, as far as how much people have said they've earned here, uh, you can look at hourly pay, but this is going to vary quite a bit. Any kind of microtasking site or app like this has a lot of variance because you're not getting paid a consistent hourly rate. That's not really how they do it. They do it by the job, by the gig that you complete. So the speed of which you complete a gig, the type of gig you're doing, um, how much that gig pays when it's done, a lot of different factors go into how much you average per hour. So it, it can go up and down and fluctuate quite a bit. Sometimes you might be making uh, very little per hour. Sometimes you might average quite a bit. Independent contractors here, you see uh, three people saying 36 to, uh, on average, 27 to 50 all together. Uh, freelance, 30 to $56 an hour, $40 average. 
uh, click workers 17 to 32 23 average so lots of different averages here all over the place really so it could be anywhere from maybe like 10 or 15 to possibly according to other people in the 50s but i don't know how likely that would be Next, we have user testing. User testing has ways for you to get paid to test websites and apps. You just go to get paid to test. They also have an app available for your smartphone. It has almost a three out of five star rating, millions of downloads, and it is something that can be done on both Apple and Android devices. So you just follow the instructions. Everything is pretty much step by step and then you uh, basically test these different websites and apps. So all you have to do is apply. It's obviously free to apply for any of these. You answer a few screening questions. So some of these sites, they want certain demographics to test certain apps or certain websites so that maybe you're hitting the target market for that particular thing. Um, and then you take the test and earn money. So as far as some other FAQs, um, you do have do not have to pay to become a contributor. Um, there's not a lot of requirements. They do make payments every two weeks or so. You can do this on Windows, Mac, iOS, or Android. As far as do you need a microphone? Yes, that is part of what you need for this. And then you get paid via PayPal only. That's pretty much the only way that they pay you for this stuff. So again, they have an app available for Apple and Android devices or you can sign up directly on usertesting.com. As far as how much they've said they would pay, usually they tell you $4 for every five minute test, $10 for a 20 minute test, and between 30 and $120 per live interview test. Usually this is worldwide as far as where they allow people to apply from and you can be at least 18 years of age or older to do this. As far as user testings uh, averages in terms of pay, if you look at hourly pay here, you do see that apparently some people have averaged quite a bit per hour as a user experience researcher. Um, you also have uh, testing and other things that are very similar, but usually anything related to user experience, research, and uh, testing is pretty much what you're doing. So as far as that goes, the pay seems to be very high here um, on average per hour, but that doesn't mean you're gonna get a lot of work. I would not get my hopes up about some of these. According to reviews, unless all these people are lying, you know, this could be possible that uh, some of these people were making up to 50 or $60 in an hour, but that might be very rare. It might be like you have a $60 hour testing stuff, but then you don't have any tests for two weeks. You know, It's not something that's a consistent income. So don't try and live off of this type of income, even if it can be good. Another thing you can do is go to userlytics.com. This is very similar to user testing. At userlytics, you can actually get paid to test websites and apps as well. They have a mobile version that's actually very highly rated. It's one of the higher rated apps on this list. At a 4.5 out of 5 star rating with 100,000 plus downloads on the Android version just as an example so check your apple or your uh, google play store for userlytics if you're interested in trying out apps and websites on your phone for free and getting paid to do so and when you go here you can just go to get paid to test at the top right on the website if you're at least 16 years of age or older you can get started uh, testing websites and apps here for uh, user friendliness. Basically, you get paid every two weeks via PayPal. A lot of this is very similar to user testing as far as like the details here. Now, they used they actually updated the look of their website recently, but they used to say you could earn uh, 5 to $90 per test to get feedback on websites and apps here, again, via PayPal. And basically, you can do this outside the U.S. as well. You don't necessarily have to be limited to the U.S. So as far as how much people have said they've earned here, they don't really have a ton of reviews, but they do have a few on here. Um, if you scroll down here, you see like junior UX researcher, I'd say that's fairly similar to what you're doing. A web tester is pretty much the same thing as well. So you're looking at a full range of somewhere around 30 to as much as $58 per hour according to these reviews. Obviously, again, this is just a couple of reviews saying this. I take that with a grain of salt, but that just shows you, you know, from the data we have of what could be possible, but don't expect that to be consistent. Next, we have user feel. User feel is also very similar in that you can test websites and apps and basically um, help developers understand what they could do to improve the user experience on these. And user field does also have an app as well. It's got 2.9 out of five stars with hundreds of thousands of downloads here. So check the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store if you're interested in doing this. You see many of their uh, tests pay around $10. 
and are about, it could be anywhere from like five minutes to an hour, depending on which one of these tests you do. So obviously that can vary quite a bit. So obviously it's, it sounds good to do a five minute test for $10. It might not sound that great to you to do a hour long test for $10. It just depends on what you're kind of here for and what you're willing to take for your time. So as far as how much you can earn against usually $10 per test, many of these tests are 10 to 20 minutes, but some of them, as I showed you in the screenshot for the app can take as much as an hour. So they say the full range is $3 to $30 per test, and each test can be anywhere from five to 60 minutes. So as far as what you're doing, I guess pretty much the same as all the others. You need a, you'll probably need a microphone. You can do it on many different devices, but you're, li you're just giving your opinion on what could be improved about a website or an app. So next we have uh, something called Feature Points. This is a website and an app that you can also use to get paid to test other apps so they actually do this mostly on the mobile version if you want to get paid to test apps or to try out different games on your phone and stuff and get paid for that feature points allows you to do that on the mobile version so this has about a three out of five three point five out of five star rating of 10 million plus downloads so if you look at the uh the the screenshots here it'll have like a little list as you can kind of see below it'll say like you earn 300 points for trying out instagram or a game like clash of clans or something a lot of these are very common games and very common apps that you would normally see in the app store as very popular it's not a bunch of just shady apps or anything like that so as far as how you can get paid you have these three main options here you have gift cards of all sorts to specific stores like amazon or specifically to walmart or best buy you have cash and things that are basically the equivalent of cash, like a Visa gift card or PayPal. You also have Bitcoin if you're into crypto as well. So those are the different ways you can get paid. It's one of the things that really attracts a lot of people is the different payment methods. So you can check out the app and just get paid to try out different apps. If you're interested in doing things outside of trying apps, you can use the website form as well, which looks something like this. They have surveys, they have games, and uh, different types of promos that you can do as well but you earn these points like you can see i have thirty thousand plus points up here and then you can exchange those and redeem them here for all sorts of different gift cards and ways to um to cash out so hopefully this was helpful don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily um, opportunities like these if you thought this was helpful please click the like button it helps me know what types of content you prefer and i'll see you in the next video